We're going to go to Marcus Stroman, another guy having success, Dying. but in a completely different way. This is the sinker, right? And watch the late movement on these balls. That ball started in the center, ends up off the plate. That's Santana swinging over a fastball. This is not blown by them, as you see Spencer Strider. This is balls that they think are going to be in the box and are sinking out of it. And I just wanted to show you that it's not too much in this tape. You swing and miss, but what are you trying to do, d -Row? How do you not give up homers? You get the ball hit on the ground. When you can get the ball hit on the ground, you're an out away, or when you get an out in the inning, you're an, another pitch away from a double play. You're in all kind of trouble. The sinker plays, and it plays in today's game, and I want you to see that and know that. After this video, I'll show you how you hold it. That was a four-seamer up in the zone. I just showed he you. He is in complete control when I watch him of, I mean, he could almost stop, hang out, start again. Like, he is dialed in Body awareness, situational awareness, core strength is huge. We, we'll get into that a little bit. This is just showing who gets the ball hit on the ground a lot. These are all great sinker ballers in the game, leading the game in Home runs given up the, the least amount because why? The ball's on the ground over half the time, all having really success. Look, I want to show you this, d -Row. A four-seam fastball, when they talk about how, how today and you want velocity and you want to go to the scout combine and, and you're going to grab this ball, horseshoe, and get across it. You can flip it like this. I never like to do that. I like to go with the horseshoe always to on the, the outside. But look, if you're a young kid and you're watching now, please throw the ball with two seams and just watch what happens. If you grab the ball, I threw mine with both my fan hands on top of both seams. I love feeling a lot of people. Tim Hudson would kind of come across. Some people would straddle this seam. But when you throw a ball and it's coming and it's going to spin like this, yeah. it catches way more air than, than it would with a four-seamer. It's going to be slower. You're not going to wow. But if you've got, I, I challenge guys this, if you've got big spin rate on your four-seamer and you've got big velocity, why in the world aren't you trying to throw a ball with two seams that's going to be an, a mile or two per hour slower? But that late movement, like you, you just said it, it, hit moves it on the, the head. plate. That's the, when you watch the kids at home, these guys on a nightly basis are trying to control those 17 inches, right? And when it's four seam and it's on that plane, you can pretty much find what quadrant it's going to be, what window of the 17 inches. When you're sinking it, man, I think it's here and then it's off. I think it's here and then it's off. It just gets bad. You get bad barrel accuracy. It's just not getting enough play in today's game yeah. because of how much we're in love with spin rate. And spin rate, let's talk about sinker spin rate. And you have big spin rate. That's going to be big late movement is what that's going to be. It's just harder to control. Why most pitchers don't throw this is because you can't. So you had three or four guys in the lineup peeve when you were going good and I bet you I was one of those at one of those time where you could be like sinker down and in ground out to third. Hero, I never here. want to throw you a four seam fastball like you as a hitter and me knowing you and, and your your MO I'm wanting sinker over Boom. four seamer to you and, yeah. and that's this sinker played so much in me being able to get some quick outs. When you watch Stroman going deep in the games when you watch Logan Webb when you can fire that sinker in there oh oh. Like, imagine if I'm pitching and I've got my four seamer that's 95 and it's straight and it's all I've got. If I can play from 90 to 93 with a ball that's that's sinking and moving late, that plays. And when and, and Rick Sutcliffe told me, Jake, that 2-0 count, kill your legs, same arm speed, and I, I would kill my legs. I, I would come here. Look, I, I'll show you how I would mess with speed. Yeah. With with, di with different pitches. Come on, kids. It, it, it's your legs, right? So here's a typical follow through. Right here, boom, you push off and, and you follow through right there. What I would do with my sinker D row, I, 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 say my fastball and four seam was 95 at that. My sinker doing that same delivery would be 93.5, 93 yeah. miles an hour. If I quit on my backside, nothing different. Went here, boom, no backside, that's about a mile or two hour off. But my arm speed's the same, that ball's gonna get there and act like a change up even. 2-0. In a big hitter's count, when you're geared up and thinking you're getting that fastball, if I show you two or three mile an hour difference, late movement, you've hit the ground ball to short. I've saved myself a tough bat trying yeah. to get back in it. The sinker just really plays in today's game. It gets no play. I lived my entire career uh, trying to always utilize this late yeah. in my career. It was tough with the arm speed falling. That was but if good. you're a young kid, watch that.
Yeah. yeah that's the excellent. Backside.